Welcome to our Revive Studios talk show and podcast hosted by Victory Lyric. Get ready to be inspired to be all you were called and created to be. Join us as we showcase nationwide artisans and their unique stories. This is your opportunity to explore creativity with diverse crafts, recipes, and tutorials with practical tips for unleashing your artistic side. Let's get ready for spiritual upliftment, healing stories, miracles, and divine goodness. Get ready for an amazing segment of our Revive Studios talk show and podcast with host Victory Lyric. Welcome, welcome to RE5 Studios. We have a wonderful show today, an amazing guest. His name is Julius Adams, and he's a music artist. He has a wonderful new song out called Healer, and we're just here to talk to him and get to know him. Julius, yes. welcome. Hi, how are you guys doing today? Glad to be here. Oh, so tell everyone where you're located. I'm located in Peoria, Illinois, a little oh. bit outside of Chicago. Okay. Um, nice Ooh. little town. Pretty cold up there right now? Oh, man. Yes. Negative ten temperatures. Negative oh. 14, uh, negative 13. We've been, we've been down in the bottom of the freezer for a couple okay. of weeks. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. So um, recently, well, we got to chatting recently, you and I, and you had sent me a text with a few photos of you fishing, um, oh. like yeah. some humongous catfish. Was that in the ice? Like in... In the yes, we yes we have like a little hot lake we go to, but it's really cold out there. Love to go fishing out there all the time. Oh yes, it's our place, and so when we go out there, it's so much fun. But it's so cold, and uh, you have to walk a couple of miles to get there. But when you get there, it's man, it's heaven. It's fun for real. Oh, that's awesome. So, do you go fishing with family members or? I got a couple of friends I go for, you know fishing with. Uh, two of my besties. Uh, we've been fishing together for years. Um, they taught me a lot. I've taught them a lot. We've always had a good time. A uh, very fun time. I can imagine that, yeah. that you, you little boys growing up together going fishing. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, tell us a little bit then about your new song, Healer. It's a beautiful, beautiful video. I watched it. Um, nice. But yeah, tell me, tell me a little bit about the song, how it came about. Oh man, uh, the song was like uh, I wrote it some years ago with my mom. Um, it was a good song. We always had me and my mom always wrote a lot of songs together. But that song in particular came because you know it was just experience of people being heartbroken or having mental illness or just going through a lot of stuff. We wanted a song to make about you know healing for God's touch to touch people. You know, so it was a it was a beautiful love song to God and for people to connect to God through healing. So. That's that's where it came about, yeah. All right. So then, is there any specific lyrics in the song that really stand out to you as your favorite, and any part you want to share with us? Yeah. Um, the second verse when it says, "You know, your anointing is powerful; it can heal, move mountains, and change my thoughts into love, peace, joy." Um, oh wow! That, that part came from just like. Seeing God touch my body as well. I used to have really bad allergies um, I, when I was younger. And uh, God just delivered me from that, helped me get out of that situation and begin to open my whole body through health and got so much better because, you know, God just touched me through healing. And um, just, uh, that part right there is just, that's why I wrote that part because it, I was free from that that time in my life with those allergy issues at that time. Oh, that's a beautiful story. I love yeah. it. Yeah. So you mentioned you wrote some music with your mom. Um, yes. it, and you had mentioned to me that your mom had passed away, but that she also had had a healing during a time when she was very ill. Yeah. Um, yeah. You want to yeah. tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, my mom was going through a issue at that time where, you know, she was a uh, needed immediate surgery and we didn't know if she would live through that surgery and man god has touched her body um he healed her from that and she ended up living like a year and six months after that but it was a blessing because she wasn't supposed to you know get out that surgery and uh, god touched her and uh, she got time to 
to be with us. And, you know, we had such a good time just to, to know her more and deeper. She even gave us so much wisdom, so much spiritual insight. And, uh, you know, she ended up passing, but I seen God literally touch her body. I mean, she went from, I can't walk to like walking and just, just everything. It was crazy. And, um, just a blessing to see her like that. So this song is a, definitely a dedication to her and everything that, uh, me and her used to do. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, I love that you got that extra time with her and yeah. you know, in God's kindness and mercy, you know, you were given that gift of, of additional time. And yeah. um, I, yeah. I love that. So yeah. now, um, why don't you tell us a little bit about that video? Because I asked, you know, asked some questions to you yeah, earlier. You just trying did. to get an understanding. His video is very multicultural um, yes. and it's, it's very multi-talented as well. So yes. share with us a little bit about the video and kind of um, what you included and how that came about. Oh, man, I had so many visions for that video. And, you know, I, I'm around so many different people. So, you know, I, I see God in so many different ways where God works through so many different races of us. And when I put the video together, I, I really wanted good ballet dancers there. Um, I wanted the right musicians to be there. So I wanted to make it diverse. And another thing is that all those people work very well together, too. Like, mm -hmm. it was so much love in that room and so much kindness in that room and so mm -hmm. much just happiness and we all just came together and it just fit it was it was one of the best things i've done in life where i did a video that good and god helped me direct that the way it did and it was really great on the you know um 321 studios andrea and nicole management um all the musicians that came they just really helped me out with it it was just it was a beautiful thing and um it was my yeah. it was the best time yeah yeah, it included like strings and ballet dancers, yes. and it yes. was just just kind of a fun um, experience. But what what was your um, sort of inspiration for that regarding oh. know, having all of that go on? Man, um, it was the like I want to be a great representation to what I felt God would be like, what He represents, and I think God represents all of us together. And so it was one of those things that when I made the song, that's what really gave me hope. I said, when I think of healing, what do I see? And I see just beauty. I see elegance. I see God doing great things to people. And I see just a, you know, a real, a real high quality uh, view. So that's why I wanted to, to have so much stuff. And, you know, when you are, you are getting healed, you are dancing, you are, you know, emotionally happy. So I wanted to mm -hmm. kind of give that, you know, that look, that feel, that touch. Yeah, that feeling, that feeling of like freedom that you're yeah. getting like with a ballet yeah. dancer. And yeah, that's amazing. I love it. Yeah. Well, um, is there anything that you would like to share with the audience as far as when they go for their own dreams? Maybe we've got other singer songwriters out there that are, you know, kind of tiptoeing up to the water, wondering whether or not they want to try to go for their dreams. Um, can you tell us about um, any challenges that you've experienced and kind of how you maybe overcome some of those challenges while going for your dream. I would say that um, when you're doing music and you're like going for it and everything like that, is that um, the hard, the, the real challenging part, I would tell you, is learning how to put everything together. Like music is really tough. Like it's not like when you're recording that's one side, but making a song, picking the right people to help you, um, that's that's difficult. That's the that's the most challenging part of doing music and knowing how I know this not trying to get into all this stuff, but like mixing and mastering is very important. And also having the right team around you who people that understand you musically. And it's really it's really good to make high quality music. So don't be afraid to invest because it will come back. I know sometimes when you spend money on stuff that you, you know, you desire to do, you, you kind of like try to cheapskate it. Don't cheapskate it. Like make sure you actually put something behind it because that's the way it could be a blessing to other people. So you don't want to cheat yourself. So if you are doing something, don't be afraid to put high, you know, put high quality in there. You know, it's, 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 it's important. And so you want to make sure it, so it, it turns good. It turns out good. So you want the right musicians. That's the most difficult. That is a challenging part though. So when you're doing that part, you, you don't want to cheat yourself out. So take your time, be patient, 
you know, press it, but take your time, be patient, listen, you know, get the right advice because you can, but be patient because you can really do something great if you be patient and put it all together right. It's important. I love that. I love don't cheat yourself because yeah, no. it is my belief that if we do not love ourselves and really, you know, care for ourselves and have compassion for ourselves, it's very difficult to go for a dream and sustain a dream. Yeah. You know, and, and it's, and as you're saying, you know, you need to do it right because right. otherwise yeah. you literally are cheating yourself, cheating yeah. yourself out of, you know, the amazing gifts that God put in you. And yes, yes, you yes. Know, not only should we go for it, but we should go for it, you know, with a lot of thought and heart put into it. Not there's no such thing as perfection, but no, certainly, no. certainly pouring yourself into it because your gift is worth that. Man, yes. And you'll be really happy with the outcome. You know, it does uh, kind of suck when you spend a lot of money, <laughs> money because, you know, you put time and invest there. But I mean, you'll see you'll see the results and don't you know, and don't and don't give up with your faith. Like you got to, you know, keep your faith. Keep the worst. Those principles do work. Don't 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 listen to people. Listen to God, press out, listen to people who are going to be positive around you and give you that push and keep pressing you no matter what, because you will break through some way, somehow, you know, to where you want to be. So just do the, put, first of all, put the works behind it. Definitely put the quality behind because that's going to be your toughest part. Unfortunately, like the part that's the toughest part is the work of it because you got to make the quality, but just be patient. If it takes you two years, it takes you two years. If it takes you three years, it takes you three years. It takes you six months do yeah. it it's, it's worth it it's worth it's not it not going anywhere before we head into our next segment let's take a little look at the amazing video healer that as we get moving into the next segment yes. um we are going to take a look at your victories point of view right. so your you would not believe story i would love to hear the story that you have in your life of you would not even believe oh man okay probably a month ago i was like my manager, she sent out my song, and we just wanted to get it played on on Heart Media. So I was really excited to get it played, and so all of a sudden they put me in a competition, and um, I was like, "Oh, okay." So you know, I was kind of concerned because I didn't really want to be in the competition because I was like, "I just want to get my song played. I don't, I, I don't want to lose." You know, that was like, okay, because <laughs> that's the scary part is like getting votes, people checking it out, and it was a really big thing. So all of a sudden it gets there, and I end up winning. And it was the first competition I ever won, too. So I've never won. I have been in other competitions, mm -hmm. but I won. And I was 
I was blown away. It was I was happy. I went out celebrated. I went to Papa Do's. I oh, went yeah? to, <laughs> went to Papa Do's. I couldn't help it. I said, "Look, I'm going to celebrate." But I was that was an unbelievable moment because I didn't expect to be in the competition. I I was just like I just want to get it played and people to hear it. But you know they wanted to you know let people you know put me in this thing and. Um, it, blew, it blew my mind. It was really exciting because it was the first competition I've ever won in anything. Oh, so. congratulations. Oh, that's an Thank exciting you so much. Story. It was. It was. Yeah. My first time. So, yeah. I didn't think I was going to win. I'm not going to lie. I didn't think I was going to win. <laughs> I was hoping I was going to win, but it came through. <laughs> it came through. So it, it was. I'm very happy about it. All right. I love that you went to celebrate at Papa Do. Yeah. Yeah. Tradition over here. Got to. It's important. <laughs> like that seafood. <laughs> oh man, they have everything. Yes, mm -hmm. the best place. <laughs> well, awesome. Well, thank you so much for that story. I am excited about the next segment of our interview because Julius has agreed to play a little something for us that he's not quite put out there yet. So we get a little sneak preview, a little taste of what's to come. So nice. tell us um, just a little bit about what we'll be seeing here in a moment, and then we will come back for that. All right, awesome. Um, you'll be hearing, I'll be doing um, I Have Faith, a song I wrote. Um, it'll be out coming soon. So this is a song I'll be playing and singing. So I think you guys will like it. It's a new is different. So yeah, it's a good one. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you. We'll take a look. I'm excited. Right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, man, that's the song I stood on for many years. Just like, man, you know, because when you're trying to, I, I, first of all, I'm a weightlifter. I'm a fisherman. So a lot of times when you're trying to make lifts and you're trying to do things in life, which I think everybody should always try to do is get out outdoors. It gives you a different faith and a different belief because you see God more, more in those situations where you have to really work towards something and believe in him to help you get through it. And then also have enough faith to get to your next journey, your next level. So I wrote that song because it helps me get through everything, um, especially holding strong to my faith and my works and believing that God's going to open this, this uh, door for me as long as I continue to believe, love, and keep pressing. And that's it. Yeah, so that's just keep song. walking through. Yeah. Um, so there's a lyric about, about your hands. How did that go? Uh, my hands are blessed with your riches. Like, they're blessed oh, with... I love that. So tell me about riches. that. Um, well, I always believe that God, he wants the best for you. So he gives you, he blesses you with his riches. He always blesses you with things because it's there. God wants goodness for us all the time. We just have to discipline ourselves to 
know that, to believe it, to trust in it, and to keep pressing it. Because to me, God, he has all the things for us. It's just that sometimes we just don't um, listen to maybe what he's telling us because we might be emotionally uh, connected to things that we think are going to work for us. But sometimes you can't lean into your own understanding. You have to lean into what God is doing for you, and then God will bless you with the things that you need the most. So to me, it's just, you know, that's a blessing to just, that's what that lyric was for right then and there. Yeah. I love it. You know, um, I, a little while ago, I asked God to teach me, yeah. why did the Israelites not go into their promised land? And, you know, I think, I think that it, it was a lot like you're talking about to do with trust. And, you yeah. know, I think that we do have, um, so much in our hands that is negative and old and, negative beliefs about ourselves even that right. keeps us from having our hands open to the riches to being able you know to go in and and take what what god gave us you know exactly. for our lives and that's exactly what that and that's exactly what that lyric is for because you're right god is he's open he's given us so much it's just for us to believe and for us to receive it and then we get those good things that god has for us but god wants you to have blessings all around you and you don't want to miss that because it's the best thing seriously I, I think that that the receiving is is the hardest part. Learning to receive, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a lot more difficult than than what one would think. Just you know, just hearing those words. But learning right. to receive is a journey, and it's a journey of of coming to know God personally and trusting you can receive what He's got because He can see what you can't see. You know. Right. <laughs> Right. And that's it. And you have to, and that's hard, you know, to, uh, especially when you're hands on all the time and you're always doing stuff, it's hard to, uh, go into a situation blindly, you know, oh, yeah. that's the hard part, but you have to believe in the works, you know, and that, you know, um, you did everything right. The, the best of your ability and mm -hmm. if you put your best foot forth and you put everything in, Mm -hmm. It's, it's going to come back to you. You just have to believe that and know it too. You have to get to a place you believe, but then you also have to get to a place where you know. And when you're there, you can't, I don't see you losing. And I think that's the hardest part. I ask people that question a lot. When people get to a place where they're doing certain things, I always ask, like, did you do everything? Did you do everything? Did you do all the work? And they sometimes they're like, no, I didn't. I said, well, then you can't say you lost because you never really did everything. So mm -hmm. try everything first and then say, I lost. But if you try everything, every time I tell somebody to go back, they come back, they're like, okay, I figured it out. Right. Because you have to, you know, experience, learn, and, and do everything. Every nook and cranny has to be covered in order for it to be what to be right. You know? mm -hmm. I I agree. Um, I I thought that I had lost mm -hmm. nine years ago. Um, I was, you know had a dream placed on my heart to do all of this talk show and books and all of these things. And then I tried and tried and tried and tried literally everything and that I could think of and just wasn't really like moving forward. It just kept falling short and not happening. Right. And then I let it go for three years. I let it go to God and I worked on just my personal relationship with the Lord and coming to know him better. Yeah. And then it showed right back up into my space. But this time it was actually time. And then I could walk through the doors that were opening for me oh. as opposed to in the past where all the doors were closed. And I think sometimes we think the doors are closed because, um, you know, oh, well, I just won't try then, you know, right. and it's like, right no maybe possibly yeah. just because you have a dream doesn't mean that the timing is perfect either you were talking about right. patience sometimes the timing is a little later than than what we had hoped <laughs> it, it, right and it really is because you because sometimes when those pace you have to learn god's just protecting you when you're in the when things are going slow god is just protecting you that's basically what it is so you don't hurt yourself that's all it right. is so that yeah. person, you want things to happen really quickly or you're pressing it like, hey, I want this to happen. It's not so much that God is, you know, it's, it's about that it's going slow. Sometimes you you just kind of like an adolescent. You just keep going over to this area and God's like, we're going over there. He, he's trying to break you from it. And then eventually, boom, you, you get into the right lane. You're headed to success. The way I love you it. 
I love it. Well, guys, um, I hope that everyone had a wonderful time getting to know Julia. Yeah. And I hope that you guys will um, definitely follow him on all of your musical platforms. But Julius, is there anywhere specific where they can find you? Yeah, um, you? the best place right now, um, Instagram and uh, Facebook. And I think my Instagram is, uh, I'm trying to think, um, Ju Julius v uh, v Adams. Um, Julius V. Adams. Yeah. Okay. Um, Perfect. We'll put that in the we'll put that in the in the description so that everybody can click on yeah, that. I Instagram, I'm doing. I got a lot of exciting things on there. I think people will really like it, and Facebook too. And I'm just starting to get a hold of TikTok, so those different areas. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Well, and you can also find him on revivestudios.com and on Instagram and Facebook at Revive Studios because we'll be posting all kinds of fun stuff from this interview and sharing what's going on with, with Julius. We hope to continue to follow you and and um, work together in the future. Yes, I appreciate this victory. Thank you so much for having me on. Um, the show was amazing. You were out. an amazing guest. Just to be, I mean, amazing host. This is just a good time, and I appreciate you so much. Thank you. You're welcome, and we're so glad to have you. We're so glad to have our viewer audience. We hope that today inspired you to go forward and do and be all God called and created you to be. Yeah. And we look forward to seeing you again on our next episode. Thanks for tuning in to the Our Revive Studios talk show and podcast hosted by Victory Lyric. It's our goal to inspire you to be all you were called and created to be. Join us next week as we showcase nationwide artisans and their unique stories. It's your opportunity to explore creativity with diverse crafts, recipes, and tutorials with practical tips for unleashing your artistic side. So until next week, God bless from your friends at the R Revive Studios talk show and podcast and your host, Victory Lyric.